A really important area in implant dentistry is making our patients understand the consent process. What's really important is to understand that implants have a lifespan and on average we say our implants last about 15 years. There are risks and benefits of treatment and as well as implants working very very well they certainly have their risks and sometimes in, on small occasions they don't work. Part of the consent process is to make you understand that we are dealing with the human body. This is not a mechanical bit of treatment. We are actually doing surgery on you. We're placing a titanium screw into jawbone. And there are certain ways, as, as good as we are, that sometimes the body will reject these. You may get some inflammation. You may get some swelling after the treatment. And it's important that you understand that these are, these are small risks and how we're going to minimize these risks and what steps we've taken. One of the big things that we use is 3D scanning. We have our own 3D scanner on site as well as a um, surface scanning of your teeth to make your treatment as predictable as possible. But there are risks and benefits of any treatment. And it's important that we can communicate that in a consensual process to you to, so you understand the risks of the treatment, the benefits, as well as the alternatives to dental implants, which may be a denture or a dental bridge, and the relative advantages and disadvantages of those other options, and why we feel that in many cases for a missing tooth, a dental implant may be the preferred option. Medically, we must assess you and we must assess that you're medically fit for the surgery, and also in the future years to come, the maintenance that's required on your implants, the cleaning. The dental implant itself actually needs a lot more cleaning than a natural tooth, and it's something I take a lot of time to explain to my patients, and my staff will go through some excellent interdental cleaning habits with you to maintain your implants. It's all to make this treatment as safe and predictable as possible. And of course, we don't want things to go wrong, and therefore we do offer a guarantee, but it's also important to understand that sometimes things may not go as planned and we would um, do everything we can to minimize those risks but if they did occur how we'd manage them. As an experienced implant dentist and someone who's been doing this for many years um, I have seen all different areas of implants go wrong from other clinics that we've corrected but I feel that the consensual and communication process is essential.